Yeah, right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. module for that? There, of course there is. We are at Acquia's new headquarters and we're still moving in and there's boxes everywhere and it's kind of chaos. But at this point I'm talking with a fairly um, old school Acquia. How long have you been at Acquia now? Almost three and a half years. It'll be three years on my team on May 29th. Right, that's half the history of the company. Mm -hmm. So you're definitely not a greenhorn anymore. No. Okay, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us how you got your job at Acquia. Sure, absolutely. My name is Erica Schroeder. I started in January 2012, and I was a member of the very first class of Acquia U. I was told about the program by a close friend of mine, Chris Porter, who's a former Acquian himself, and he really encouraged me to take a look at the program, take a look at Acquia, see what it was all about, and I decided to apply, and they accepted me, and I've been here ever since. Was it your first encounter with Drupal? Not my first encounter with Drupal. I had done site building before. I had built a site for an orchestra before that. I was also a site administrator, I think as far back as Drupal 5. Um, but it was absolutely my first encounter with things like command line, with version control, uh, with using multiple environments. I had never done any of that before. What's your first Drupal memory? I was a site administrator for my own site, for a dance studio that I owned many years ago, and I had to learn how to moderate forums and moderate content and add images to the site. And I thought that was the most complicated thing in the entire world at that point. Huh, and so what, how, what, how, what made you stick with Drupal? I really gravitate towards things that are challenging. I don't like things to be easy. If it seems like a puzzle and it, if it seems like something I can work at to solve, it's going to keep me engaged. So I found Drupal to be really engaging on that level and I find it to be continually engaging every day as I continue to maintain Aqua.com and other properties here. What were your ex expectations going into Aquia U and how did you feel when you were accepted? I was surprised, to be honest with you, that I was accepted because I don't have a technical background. I was a dance major and I have a master's degree in nonprofit arts management. So I legitimately had never heard of command line. I had never seen a PHP template file. I had never done any of that. So I thought it was a really far long shot. Um, so I was surprised. And when I was accepted, I was expecting to figure out how to work on a team, see the back-end code of a site, understand more HTML, CSS, and PHP, and that's what I've been doing ever since. And um, how was it? Aqua U, the first couple of weeks were overwhelming. Uh, there was a lot of information coming at us all the time at a really rapid rate, and sometimes I felt like they were speaking a foreign language. It was almost like German to me. I just had no experience, and some of my fellow Aqua U members had so much experience. They had comp sci backgrounds and had been doing Drupal sites for a really long time. So for me, it was a bit overwhelming at first, but like I said before, I really gravitate towards challenges. Um, and I was able to rely on my, my fellow Aqua U members as well as my friend Chris um, to kind of help me put all of the pieces together for the Drupal puzzle and figure out how to make it through the program. Run us through a typical day at Aqua U. Oh. When, when you did it? <laughs> when I did it. We would get here at 8, 8.30 in the morning because we would have a scrum uh, first thing in the morning, usually at 9. That would involve everybody in Aqua U. We would be in meetings or in trainings from 9 to 5. And then we would stay from 5 till maybe 7.30 or 8 working on group projects because we would have a team demo every Friday. That was the first six weeks. And then after that, we went into rotations in different departments. And that was more like normal Aquia life where you're working on actual projects every day as opposed to being in you know, training every day. Um, but it was, it was a lot. And so what did you do with all the free time that that left you? <laughs> Hilariously, I would go home and I would eat dinner and then I would call my friend Chris and he would help me get through all of the stuff that we had done because I just needed contextual help. All Drupal, all the time. All the time, that's all I did, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> 
What's the most important thing you got out of Acquia U? I think learning how to work on a team for a site was the most important thing for me because before this experience I had done sites on my own so I didn't have to worry about what other people were doing with their code, how it would conflict with my code if we were on the same timeline or time frame for anything that just was never an issue or a conversation so figuring out how version control works um, figuring out how a, a team has to prioritize their projects to meet different deadlines and priorities um, and working within a large organization with a lot of stakeholders. We learned that in Acquia U, um, doing different projects and I do that every day now on Acquia.com. So it sounds like you came in a pretty good home cook and you walked out a chef in a large hotel operation. Yeah, it's like a in, a, in a hotel kitchen, right? Yeah, that's a great analogy. Yeah. What's one piece of advice that you'd give people looking for a new career? Oh, I definitely was a career changer. That's for sure. You have to be, you have to be willing to step back and know that you're not the expert anymore. You're not at a management level anymore. You're not at the top of your field anymore. You have to be really comfortable in your own skin and know that it's okay and that you're going to start maybe from the ground level and that you're, it's going to take you some time to work your way back up in a new field. Would you recommend Acquia U to others? Yeah, if people are willing to do a career change or if they're, they're looking to become a professional as opposed to a, a home cook, absolutely, yep. Okay, so look straight in the camera and give a shameless plug for Acquia U. I'm Erica, and Acquia U made me the developer I am today. If you want to change your life, and if you want to do Drupal full-time, Acquia U is the program for you. Thank you. No problem.